Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, my little degenerates. It's your boy, Mr. Degenerate here. Back at it again for another video. And my Nintendo fans, my Nintendo fans, I'm sorry, but you guys had a really shitty ass um, Nintendo Direct for starting off the new year. I'm sorry, your shit was garbage. I'm just gonna be blunt. I'm gonna be real with y'all. That shit was garbage. I was sitting there bored out of my fucking mind. Nothing but re-releases, nothing but remakes and re-releases and y'all couldn't even get mothers three but the most interesting thing that happened in that event was that um we saw a little xbox game on the conference the the direct and it was it was interesting because i know some of y'all were like what the fuck why the fuck is what what why is an xbox game coming to uh, our system well, if you've been living under a rock, you would know that uh, a recent event happened uh, called the Xbox Business Update event, where the big threes, uh, Phil Spencer, uh, Matt the Booty, and our, our beautiful sister, our, our sweet, uh, sexy sister, Sarah Bond, ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Bond, uh, sat there and told the audience and told us gamers what was going to be the future of xbox because we had a bunch of bunch of leaks coming out and had people wilding the fuck out people were losing their minds people were like oh my god uh fucking xbox is getting out of the the, the first party um game they're getting out of consoles i've even said that on twitter i was like xbox has annihilated the console war we are all free hallelujah praise the lord the second coming of jesus has come like i was saying that a bunch of people were fucking pissed fucking you had xbox motherfuckers like crying like generally crying and we had motherfuckers trying to sell their console only to find out that they're only bringing porting four games and these four games ain't even that big of a deal you know, we got Pentamon that's out right now. You can go play it right now. But then, in March 19th, you got my game. High Five Rush, March 19th, coming exclusively, coming to the PS5 and Xbox 360 and PC. And then you got two multiplayer games, Grounded, April the 16th, uh, and as also getting a PS4 edition, and Sea of Thieves april 30th and i'm just saying it to myself i'm like that's it and then they go on and talk about like oh we believe in cross play cross buy cross everything cross 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 we believe that the xbox brand you should play it anywhere you want whenever you want and the whole time these guys are talking i'm just sitting to myself i'm like this is it this is what fucking xbox fans were crying about I'm like, if you guys were crying about exclusivity, y'all should have been crying about that the moment Xbox decided to be the ones to start doing day and date fucking PC ports of their games. All right. Like, that's the moment where y'all should have been crying and should have been like, no, we only want these shits to stay on fucking Xbox. But none of y'all cried. In fact, at least in my knowledge, we were all kind of happy. I, for me personally, I was happy. I was like, thank you, God. And Game Pass, you can get Game Pass for the PC. So that means you never have to fucking touch an Xbox ever in your life as long as you have a beefy computer. Oof, 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 we. If you really want to get upset about exclusivity, exclusivity? in my humble opinion, has been gone to the wayside a long time ago. You know, PlayStation doesn't even do exclusivity like that anymore. The only exclusivity PlayStation does is probably to two to three years. But now that they brung their games to the PC and saw how successful it was, they don't really do exclusives like that. They'll do time exclusive. But, hey, are you shitting me? Are you really gonna shit on my fucking dick? Shit on my fucking asshole and tell me Spider-Man 2 isn't gonna come to the PC? First game on the PC, the PC port, sold gangbusters. I'm fairly fucking sure that the that Spider-Man 2 is coming. And ever since then, PlayStation is just by like, okay, let's do fucking more PC ports. 
And who led the charge? Xbox led the charge on that. Now, I'll give PlayStation this. They did a smart move by saying, no, we're not doing a uh, day and date. We'll do two years, maybe three, or or one year to two year exclusivity, and then it will come to the PC. But this is new. And that's literally what fucking Xbox is doing with these, these console uh, ports. They're saying, hey, a year or more, and then you can get our games, Nintendo and Sony. I'm just sitting, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, okay. And maybe you're talking to someone who don't really care about exclusivity. I mean, I, mean, I own all the consoles. I own two PCs. I own a PC, a powerful ass PC, and I own a, a laptop PC, a mid-range laptop PC. All right, so I don't really care about exclusivity. So for me, I don't limit myself. Now, if you're a, a small broke Joe um and whatnot then you may care about exclusivity or if you just care about these fanboys and and these fucking console wars for plastics that don't even matter because companies will betray you all the time i keep saying this all the time company these companies will betray you even my beloved capcom will betray me so why the fuck would you believe anything phil spencer is saying phil spencer literally said that oh not every game will come to the pc what will happen? Every game is on the PC now. This motherfucker got on stage right now in the same fucking conference and said, not every game is coming to console. And then later on, after the event, was like, you know, Indiana Jones, a Starfield? Um, yeah, that may come to the fucking uh, consoles as well. We're just not sure. Hell, don't even get me started on Blade. We still don't know if that's a console exclusive. That's a time exclusive, if you ask me. Because if they announce it's an exclusive, that's a time exclusive. Meaning, they'll have it for a few, maybe a year, two years, three years, tops, and it's coming, it's coming by. And that's fine. That is completely fine. That is completely fine. No, no one's mad. I'm not mad. Because I don't hold these companies to a higher standards than you guys. I understand that this is just business. And seeing how video games are getting more expensive. And the simple fact that fucking, fucking Microsoft literally bought like two big ass fucking companies. Yeah, they're trying to, trying to get their money back as, as quickly as possible. You know, these were billion dollar purchase. They're not trying to fucking not lose lose money out of that purchase you mod no. <laughs> are you mad get the fuck out of here if you think they're gonna if you think they weren't gonna make this happen you're out of your mind now my thing is this for xbox my honestly concerned is that you know this is all fine and nanny i'm all fine but and and I know motherfuckers gonna get on my ass because they're gonna be like, oh, but fucking PlayStation don't have games, uh, games. Motherfucker, PlayStation got games. They just don't have first party games, but they have exclusive deals, so they're fine. They can roll a year without fucking having a game, even though it is questionable. I I don't know what the fuck is going on, but let those let those motherfuckers cook. I'm trying to figure out why is anybody getting excited about this when Xbox has not delivered anything they have not delivered you know if playstation would have made this announcement i would have been like all right that's cool bro that's cool y'all y'all literally are killing it right now right now y'all getting lazy but y'all killing it y'all killing it y'all fucking killing it xbox your games are coming out and they're not reaching the level of quality the only game i played that was that actually met that quality standard was high five rush so that's why I'm happy High Five Rush is coming to all platforms so everyone get a chance to play it. Because that game is fucking banging. A fucking Starfield? You mean Bethesda? Bug Effectsda? Typical Bethesda game? Alright, cool. You know, everyone was so excited for that game and it came out to be nothing more than just the typical Bethesda game. Typical, typical Bethesda game. So for me... This announcement was cool and all, and that's great. But motherfuckers, 
you best believe two things one phil sensor is a fucking liar he's gonna bring more games to the to other consoles you know you best best believe that best believe hellblade senior sacrifice give it two three years that's coming to ps5 give it another few years any other game that you're looking forward to the next halo game after that comes out a few few years later that game is gonna come to ps5 you best believe it this is just the tipping this is the tip of the iceberg what they're gonna do i'm all flying for it i don't know if the xbox community for it but i'm i'm fucking gucci i'm lit i'm lit but yeah completely understand to wrap this video up i'm gonna just say this xbox fans y'all got nothing to worry about you're still gonna get your exclusives so this whole xbox quit the console war and all this yobby dobby bullshit everyone was fucking crying about is nothing they're just going on a different business plan the same way at playstation went on a different business plan is that exclusivity is no longer our deal we're doing time exclusivity and then everybody can get our game every company except nintendo is doing this shit so i don't see the problem i don't see the big deal more people gets to play your awesome games or your mediocre games or your mid-ass games and i'll be happy because i don't have to pay for any of it because i got game pass so that being said i hope you guys enjoy the video if you're new to the channel please comment rate subscribe all oh, that fun stuff let me know what you thought about the xbox now giving their games out to other consoles do you think it's a good thing do you think it's a bad thing comment below let me know and as always my little degenerates stay safe and have a good one i'll see you in the next video goodbye